Hey, what's going on y'all? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Connor. In this video, we're gonna be comparing WriteSonic with Writer. These are two of the most popular AI copywriters out there. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and generate content with both of them, put it side by side and see which one is actually better. So if you don't already have an account with either of them, you can get started with a free account by using the links in the description of this video. And we're actually gonna start off with that right now. Um, just kind of look at the free trials that both of these have, and then we'll actually generate the content, put it side by side. And I'll finish the video by looking at a few features that each one of these offer um, that is unique to that AI assistant. So with all that said, let's go ahead and get started. All right, starting out with the pricing here, um, I've got Wright Sonic on the left-hand side of the screen and Rider on the right-hand side. As you can tell, both of these do offer a free plan. Right Sonic does call theirs a free trial, but they do actually credit words to your account for free every single month. And also with Right Sonic, you can choose between good quality and premium quality words. If you would like to know more about the difference between these qualities, you can check out my in-depth Right Sonic review. Um, I'll leave the link to that in the description of this video. And in that video, I do actually generate um, different forms of content using the same prompt, um, but with a different quality of words. So you can actually see uh, the difference in the quality uh, between the good and the premium quality. And let's see over here with Rider, you get 10,000 characters for free every single month, which comes out to around 2000 words, which comes out to around one or two blog posts um, that you can generate for free with Rider every month. And then moving on, I'm not gonna go over every single feature of both of these um, different AI writers that would probably get fairly boring. So I'm just gonna go ahead and jump down to um, kind of their upgraded plans. So with Write Sonic for around, let's see. So for $19 a month with Write Sonic, you can get 19,000 words. And then with um, Writer, you can get their unlimited plan, which is unlimited characters for $29 a month, which is a fantastic deal. That's probably one of the cheapest unlimited plans that you'll find. Um, but really the important thing is, is the quality of the generated content. So let's go ahead and check that out right now. All right, for the first content comparison, we're gonna use the product description template. And for our product, I'm gonna use an example of a flask tumbler. And for the description that I've provided, um, it says the flask tumbler allows you to bring your drinks on the go while keeping your hot drinks hot and your cold drinks cold. So I'm gonna use that for both of these. And for Write Sonic, I'm gonna be using the premium quality words. So let's go ahead and generate over there. And then I'm gonna generate the same description with, um, with Writer as well. So for Write Sonic, let's see, the first product description says, introducing the flask tumbler. This innovative product is perfect for those who love to go on adventures and bring their drinks with them. The flask tumbler allows you to keep your drinks hot or cold so you can enjoy a refreshing beverage no matter where your adventure takes you. So I'm not gonna read the whole thing there, um, but let's see, the second one says, whether you're enjoying a cold beverage on a hot day or a hot beverage on a cold day, the flask tumbler is the perfect way to bring your drinks with you. The flask tumbler keeps your drinks hot or cold for hours so you can enjoy them long after they've been poured. All right, and let's see, the last one, the flask tumbler is the perfect way to take your drinks on the go. This tumbler keeps your drinks hot or cold so that they stay perfect all day long. And let's see what Ryder came up with over here. So the first one with Ryder says, tired of drinking your coffee lukewarm, fed up with tea that's too cold. The problem is solved with the flask tumbler the perfect on-the-go flask tumbler for drinks. With a vacuum seal and a lid that won't spill, you can take your hot drinks in style and never worry about them getting cold. And then with the second iteration with Ryder, says the flask tumbler is designed to keep your favorite drinks at their optimal temperature. Whether you prefer hot tea, cold beer, or a refreshing iced coffee, you can ensure that your drinks, that your drink will always be at the perfect temperature. So. Based on these right here, I definitely think Ryder um, generated better uh, content for this example. Now, I will say one of the variations um, for the inputs that we did have 
is with Rider, I was able to select a convincing tone and Write Sonic did not have any kind of engaging, or sorry, it didn't have any kind of um, convincing tone of voice that I could use. So I used engaging, um, perhaps a different one would be better for the product description, but yeah, I definitely do feel like um, Rider won this comparison right here. Um, the Rider content was was really good. Um, I felt that it was compelling. It was convincing. Whereas with Right Sonic, it was um, it, it was just kind of descriptive, um, not not perfect for a product description where you actually wanted to uh, catch the reader's attention, get them hooked, make them want to purchase something. So in that case, I would definitely say that Rider. Um, won this comparison, but let's go ahead and check out the next one. All right, next we're gonna test out the paragraph generator template, and we're gonna use a topic of role of AI writers in the future of copywriting. And with writer, I've got the tone of voice set to enthusiastic. Write Sonic doesn't have the option to choose a tone of voice, so I've just got the topic in here, and I'm gonna go ahead and click generate for both of these. And with Write Sonic, let's see. The first paragraph says, AI writers are vital to any successful marketing campaign. They can help determine what the most effective words and phrases are in a given context, ensuring that the copywriting is on point. AI writers can also provide insight into what resonates with customers and can help you to better understand your target audience. And the second one says, AI writers have a crucial role in the future of copywriting as they can help to improve the effectiveness and efficiency of any content marketing strategy. They can automate tasks such as writing headlines, creating titles, and organizing text into coherent paragraphs, which can free up valuable time for marketers who, can, who need to focus on other aspects of their business. Very informative. And let's see what Ryder came up with. Ryder says... It didn't. All right. And for writer, uh, the first paragraph says with AI assistance, copywriters can put their skills to use in more efficient ways. Um, they can make sure that they are not wasting time on skill sets that they don't have and instead focus on what they are best at creativity and emotions. We should not think of these AI writers as a replacement for human copywriters. They just provide assistance to the content writers by getting rid of writer's block and generating content ideas at scale. AI writing assistants are increasingly getting popular in the workplace. Some companies use them when they need to generate content for a specific topic or niche, while digital agencies use them to generate all kinds of content for their clients. So overall, um, again, I would say Ryder has Write Sonic beat again. Um, that is just my opinion, though. Um, I feel like Write Sonic was, I feel like the content is kind of flat. It's kind of just informative, just kind of putting text out there. Um, it's kind of descriptive, whereas I feel as if um, Ryder is more engaging and kind of has more of a flow to the generated text here. Um, I feel like it's more engaging. All right, so far, I would say that Ryder has been outperforming Write Sonic as far as the quality of content being generated. However, you know, once you start messing around with both of these platforms, you can generally get great quality content out of both of them. Uh, but so far, I would say that Ryder has been producing a little bit more creative content, a, a little bit more engaging and compelling content. Um, here is another feature that's offered by both of them, and that is a freestyle mode. It's kind of similar to Jasper's boss mode where you can provide the AI assistant with um, essentially whatever you want it to create. So as you can see over here with Ryder, um, in this example, they're basically just telling Ryder to write a review um, about the writing assistant. So, you know, that is one of the nice things about both of these um, is, is their freestyle mode. Now, something that Write Sonic does have that Ryder does not um, are these various integrations. For example, one of them is with SEM Rush, which is a, um, a keyword research tool and helps you do analytics on, on various websites. And also Write Sonic does have a WordPress plugin, which allows you to directly import your Write Sonic generated content. 
right into your WordPress website, which is very convenient if you don't feel like copying and pasting. Um, and then also Sonic does have a Zapier integration as well, um, which allows you to essentially post your AI generated content just about anywhere um, from the Sonic dashboard. So um, from Sonic, you can generate content and post a tweet or post on Facebook or even uh, send it directly to Gmail from Sonic. So that is a... Um, a few unique features that Ridesonic does have that Rider doesn't have. Additionally, Ridesonic also does have a photo generator. Um, it's called Photosonic. And it's essentially just that, um, you know, by providing in a prompt or some keywords, um, Photosonic will generate some, some unique photos for you. So that is something else that, that is cool about Ridesonic that Rider does not have. Now, overall, uh, they're both great platforms. If I had to choose one, I would definitely choose Sonic over Rider. That is just because of the um, the additional features and integrations that Sonic does have. Also, Sonic does provide you with, with a few more um, AI-generated words for free every single month. And I have gen generated great content with Sonic. You know, in this comparison here, Rider in my opinion, did generate higher quality content. Um, but I, I definitely have had great experiences with Sonic. And again, this is just my opinion. Um, they both provide a free trial and a free plan. So you are able to test them both out um, without providing a credit card, which is really nice. Um, but again, at the end of the day, I would definitely take Sonic over Rider. But I am curious, you know, what y'all's opinions are. So uh, drop it in the comments, you know, which one of these AI writers you would prefer, which one you've been using, what you like about them. And if you haven't already tried either of them out, you can sign up for their free trials by using the links in the description of this video. And that's it for now. I'll see y'all next time.